The exhibition Kiyo Chika, Master of the Night, is divided into nine separate units. This division is helpful in guiding the visitor through the essential features of this 93 print series. We've chosen just over 40 to give what we think is the basic thrust of his intentions. Those sections introduce the resurrection of Kiyochika in the early 20th century brought about by the writer Nagai Kafu. Then we journey into the puzzle of depicting modernity. We treat specific features of the modern life beginning with materials, the brick introduced into Japan as a new way of forming structures. We look at what was available to the new citizen of the new Tokyo, an open city, a city unrestricted, which they could travel both to highlands and lowlands, and Kiyochika provides those views. We look extensively at the night and his various interpretations. What does the city look like, transformed at night by gaslight? And what are the important places to show within that city, given the virtues of the new technology? We see people in another section turning more into spectators, less engaged with one another, and often looking at phenomena that is highlighted by man-made light. We see the disaster of the 1881 fire that destroyed the old city, that destroyed Kiyochika's belongings, his house, his studio, his birthplace. In one of the most dramatic sections, his rendering of flames is really, I think, one of the high points of the exhibition. We move beyond that to a separate section on bridges. The city of Edo and later Tokyo was a metropolis constructed on nearly 800 hills and hillocks with streams, rivulets, and rivers running in between. It was an uneven city, not the regal capital that typified so many other great cities in East Asia. Bridges become very important, and so we turn to bridges uh, in one section. And in the final section, we see Kiyochika revived after the fire and doing a very conscious imitation of the master prince of his predecessor, Hiroshige. Hiroshige's great series, A Hundred Views of Edo, is riffed on by Kiyochika in a series called 100 Views of Musashi. Not too much success. After 37 prints, the series is declared uninteresting and a commercial failure.